Hi guys, it's Jenny. Today we're going to make comic book wall art. To make these pieces, we're going to use a method called decoupage. Decoupage is the art of decorating an object by simply gluing paper cutouts onto it. I love decoupage crafts. I've decoupaged throughout the years frames, pots, accessories, and even clothing. It's really easy to learn, and this DIY is the perfect introduction to the world of decoupage. So let's make some comic book wall art, shall we? Here's what you'll need to get started. Wood blocks cut into five and a half by five and a half inch squares, comic book images, acrylic paint, paint brushes, scissors, Mod Podge, picture hangers, and a hammer. To begin, you're going to need to get your wooden blocks. I went to my local hardware store and I got a poplar board that was initially two feet long and five and a half inches wide and three quarters of an inch thick. And then I just had the guy at the hardware store cut these into five and a half by five and a half inch squares. If your wooden pieces have rough edges, sand them with a piece of sandpaper. Now, use your acrylic paint to paint one coat on the top, sides, and bottom of the block. Let it dry and paint a second coat to get an even coverage. Whenever I decoupage using comic books, I always make color copies of them. That way I can keep my precious comic books intact and possibly reuse them for future crafts. Today I'm going to use a Darth Vader image from Dark Horse's Shadows of the Empire. Now cut out your image, figure out the placement, and then apply a thin coat of Mod Podge to the back of the image. Place it on the block and press it down. Be sure to smooth out any air bubbles with your fingers. Then apply a thin coat of Mod Podge to the top, sides, and bottom of the block. This will seal your image, and once it dries, it will leave a glossy finish. Once it's dry, flip the block over, center the picture hanger, and hammer in the nails. And now, your comic book wall art is ready to hang. I also made a block with C-3PO and R2-D2. I simply cut out the 3PO and R2-D2 image and then just layered them onto the wooden block. And since I had some wood left over, I also made this guy. Don't judge me. These pieces will add the perfect pop of color to any room and it's also an awesome way to display some of your favorite comic book images. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more geeky DIYs and Star Wars crafts. I'll see you next time. Bye.